sightings uh, where a woman, uh, three, sorry, further sightings of the getaway car. Do let us know any calls that we get in that. And we're also getting some information today on that robbery in Longfield, that very violent robbery. Um, please, anything else that you can add to that, do get in touch with us today. Now, we need your help solving something a little bit different. It's a country house mystery worthy of an Agatha Christie, set in a stately home in East Sussex. Furl Place, East Sussex. The historic seat of the Gage family, who've enjoyed its magnificent decor and beautiful grounds for centuries. I'm Nicholas Gage, I'm the incumbent of Furl Place, and um, my family have lived here a long time, about 500 years in fact. Every summer, Furl Place is opened up to the public who come to enjoy the wonderful collection of valuable artefacts on display. The house is open by obligation because some of the pictures are so valuable that they have by law to be shown, but also by our desire to share these treasures with the general public. But one visitor in particular enjoyed it so much he couldn't resist taking some of it home with him. Monday, the 20th of July, 2009, and the house is coming to life as the staff make preparations for the day. One of the gardeners notices something unusual in the long gallery and brings it to the attention of Peter, the housekeeper. Well, I was uh, in the kitchen preparing breakfast for uh, members of the family. Then all of a sudden Mark came by and he said, by the way, I think somebody ought to check upstairs. There seems to be a lot of broken glass on the floor. It turned out that during the night, someone had broken in and plundered Furl Place. Uh, it really was quite scary. Furl Place is bristling with security, so police were confident that the thief would have been caught in the act on CCTV. When we started investigating this crime, it was immediately apparent that this is not the work of an opportunist. This is definitely the work of a professional burglar. To their amazement, they discovered that the cabinets targeted were the only spot in the whole building not covered by the security system. I was completely flabbergasted because all our alarms were in place. Um, I always thought this long gallery was like Fort Knox. However, one camera did pick up a man the police suspect is the robber as he walked across the grounds at 11pm. In order to get into the building the way he did, to avoid capture from the security systems, which are very good here, indicates to us that he'd been here before and knew exactly what he was doing. The only way to access the long gallery without detection was by going through this first floor window, so he would have needed a ladder of some kind. The CCTV footage tells us that the burglar uh, is carrying a large bag, and we believe within that bag was an extendable ladder which he used to get in and get out of the building. Once up the ladder, the thief cut out the window pane rather than attempting to force the window. Police believe he did this because he knew that opening the window would have triggered a pressure-sensitive alarm. Once he got inside the long gallery, he managed to avoid the very sophisticated alarm. He stayed very close to the wall on the window side and broke into two cabinets which contained over a million pounds worth of porcelain. And he did it with absolute coolness and aplomb. So as these burglars go, and I think the police were, I mean, although it's a nefarious thing to burgle, they thought he was obviously completely professional. Because he knew so much about the gallery's security weaknesses, police are convinced that he must have visited Fell Place before, possibly on a day when the house was open to the public. The amount of planning and detail that's gone into how he's managed to get in uh, and and get the property and get out without being caught it is quite unique. Not only did the thief break into the long gallery on the first floor, he crawled through a tiny window and made it back down the ladder with over a million pounds of fragile china. The theft comprised of two full showcases of Serve porcelain, um, including two of the real stars here at Furl. First of all being the Furl vases, which are a spectacular pair of um, Blown Over ground uh, vases um, painted by Dodan with Chinese scenes on the front, and that's what makes them so terribly rare. But whilst the man appears to be a master burglar, it seems he's no antiques expert. Not all the pieces were necessarily famous um, or, or valuable. Uh, for example, we had some 
pink and green redecorated pieces, um, which indicates to me that the person who stole them really didn't know what he was taking. After this audacious burglary, all the remaining loopholes in the security system have now been plugged. It's been in our family for many hundreds, uh, uh, hundreds of years, and um, I feel it's a personal loss, but also a loss to the public because they had access to it, and therefore their enjoyment is curtailed like ours is.